All right, now I have some of the case, the important case cords are mounted onto the case itself with a little twist tie. I'm just pulling that out because the next step is to put the motherboard in. So I just need all this out of the way. And we are going to mount the motherboard. Now you gotta make sure when you're dealing with sensitive components like this, that you are grounded so you don't screw things up and you don't fry these expensive components that you're putting into your build. Now, if you saw in the unboxing video that I did, this is a Crosshair 4 Formula motherboard. It's from Republic of Gamers. I mean, it's from Asus. Republic of Gamers is their, is their gaming um, brand. And the motherboard itself is pretty slick looking. It's got a red and black theme to it. Now it's going to fit right here. And like I said before, you make sure you're grounded so that uh, you don't screw anything up. Now, <clears throat> it's going to fit real nice here. And like I said, we're going to do some work with the cord management on it so that we get we have a nice clean case in here. And there is, like you saw before, there is a window on the side here. So you want to make sure that everything is nice and clean. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. But, um, I mean, this is going to be under a desk, so it's not going to be very visible. Um, but, you know, you spend some money on this. They, they take the time to make it look nice. You might as well have it nice. All right, I'm going to install the motherboard now, and the first thing you need to do is put the I.O. shield in. So, let's do that right now. And it just snaps in from the inside. It should snap in from the inside if you hear that. Should be nice. There's no actual mounting screws on it. It just snaps right in. All right, the next thing we have to do is put these standoffs in. Now these standoffs came with the case and uh, they will keep your motherboard off of the case itself. So in my case, in this case, this case, um, in this situation, I have, I believe, nine mounting points. There's nine mounting points. And what you need to do is put these little standoffs in the holes. And so far, they're going in pretty easily. You just screw them in with your fingers. And like I said, this will keep the motherboard off of the case itself and give it a mounting point. There we go. Got four of them in out of nine. They are small. I don't know if you can see this here. There are these gold little mounting points. Let me zoom in a little bit. Right there. That's what I'm screwing in to the holes there. They're basically just holes in the case. And uh, I'm trying to get them into these top ones. They're just hard to... There we go. Not so difficult. Alright, you got the most, the majority of them in. You just need three more. One. Two. And one more. Uh, 
Oh yeah, this one's gonna be hard. There we go. I got my nine mounting points. I ended up with uh, two left over of these things, but uh, I don't need them. Make sure I'm grounded again before I touch the <clears throat> motherboard. Now, what you want to do when you're putting the motherboard in, you want to not only match up the holes, but you want to match up the ports on the back for the I.O. shield. So let's just carefully maneuver this in. And I might have to... no, this will be good. Okay. All right. All right, let's just get everything lined up nicely. Now, I got a bunch of screws. They came with, again, the case. You know, all your pieces will come with either the case or the pieces that you that you uh, purchase. Uh, in this case, all the mounts for the case come with the case, as you would imagine. So let's start with this screw here, it's sort of in the middle. Now you just want to screw it in, get it nice and, you know, so that's not going anywhere. But don't over tighten these things because you're going to end up ruining your motherboard and chances are you spent some good money on it. So, not a good idea. Alright, let's, uh, I think pretty much everything's lined up pretty exact here, so let's get the second one in and that should solidify all the positioning here, because once you get two in, it's not going to move. So, alright, just making sure I got a good camera angle on this and uh, two out of nine so let's finish up the other seven and they're going in real nice and smooth I got a Phillips screwdriver this is my trusty screwdriver I've had it for several years and it's actually just finished doing a half bath in my house so got a lot of use out of it there this one's a little bit close to the fan up here, but the case is so far, the PC case here is so far a good choice because it's not too tight so far, so I'm pretty happy. Alright, so far I got five in. Going for number six up top here. Now I'm not using a magnetic screwdriver. I know some people do, um, but I've heard, again, this is my first PC build, so I've never first-hand knowledge, but I've heard you can actually uh, damage the board. I'm not taking any chances, so I'm not doing it. All right, that is, I think, number seven. We got two more to go. Wish me luck. All right. Went smooth. And the last one is up top here. And there we go. All right, so that is the power supply and the motherboard mounted in my PC build here. What I am gonna do is I'm going to remove these stickers, these protective covers on the motherboard. If you can see that, there's a couple things in here because like I said, sort of like a tuner car you know it's uh the engine is beautiful well in this everything is 
is for looks, so there's actually uh, some pieces of plastic covering some stuff. I think there were just two pieces on there. Um, one that had the Republic of Gamers logo on it, and then the ASUS logo here. So, um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install the RAM.